Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Religiously Fit. Guys, today's video is going to be a very very helpful one and uh, also informative. Uh, so I'll be demoing this video, like seven exercises in this video. And these exercises will help mostly the people who are into desk job, sitting job, like people in IT, they sit for maybe sometimes eight hours, nine, ten or so on. So what happens when you sit for eight hours? There are certain muscles in your body like the neck muscles, the lower back muscles, the front thighs, upper front thighs, they get uh, in, they are very much into a tight position. Okay, they are into tension. So what happens because of that? You develop uh, like pain in the lower back, mostly in the lower back who does the sitting job. They, you, if, you, if you talk to 10 guys, like 7 out of 10 guys have some back problem who are into the sitting job from quite a while. So this video is going to be very very helpful and trust me when you will doing these when you will be doing these exercises I will be telling seven of them if you do just a couple of them definitely you are going to feel much better your flexibility will be uh, like will get increased your posture will get uh, in like relatively in a uh, get corrected so I'll be without wasting much of a time I'll be demoing these ex seven exercises and what I'll be expecting from you guys is that please do let me know how this video was was it helpful like how helpful so that i get a feedback correct feedback so i can you know going forward when i make other videos so i can uh, i can share as much information and video should be as helpful as possible so thank you very much for watching up till now and just we'll just uh, you know good to go so first exercise is uh, push up it's a simple push up okay so okay i'll be reminding that Okay, come on, lay on your hands, back straight, the, the glutes, the hips shouldn't sink in, shouldn't sink out like protrude, the back has to be straight, hands beneath the shoulder and you have to go down and come up slowly, okay, like this and this, this, nice and slow, nice and slow, okay, nice and slow down, then way up, this was the first exercise, okay. The second is seated chair up is the exercise but I'll be telling a simplified version of that so that it's, it, is, it is easy for everyone. You just sit on the floor or a yoga mat and put your hands beside your hips, okay? Just like me in a relaxed position, okay? Chest out, chest should be high and shoulders retracted like towards the back and just try to, on legs should be straight and just try to push yourself up and down, up and down, up and down. You should feel all the pressure, all the tension or all the pain also in this area. Okay, this is the tricep muscle. Okay, so this was the second one. The third is wall sit. For wall sit, I'll have to put the phone on this side. Okay. Just stand next to a wall, straight. Again, chest high, shoulders at the back, also called retracted shoulders. Okay, and legs hip width apart and take a step forward from on both your legs one by one, not at the same time and come down slowly. Okay, and adjust your legs as you feel comfortable. Like right now, I don't feel comfortable. I have to step a little ahead of me where I was and just stay in this position 90 degree. If it is very, very painful and it is not comfortable for you, I won't suggest this exercise to do, especially if you have any knee pain or any, you know, uh, joint pain in this area, the legs area. Okay, so you don't have to come up, you have to sit for maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds, whatever time you can comfortably stay in this position, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 15. I can stay in this position for 2 minutes. Okay, so you don't have to do for 2 minutes right away. Trust me guys, <laughs> otherwise you are, you, your, your posture, your flexibility is all gone. Okay, so the next is dumbbell lunges. If you have dumbbells at home, it's good. If you don't have dumbbells, you can do this exercise bare hand. Or if you have any kind of water bottle, you can use that as well. So I have dumbbells with me. So hold dumbbell, chest high, shoulder at the back and core engage. The core has to be tight. You have to tighten these muscles like deliberately okay then stand tall okay and again feet hip width hip width apart why did i say hip hip width apart and take a step forward okay in a lunge position this, this is called a lunge position and way down and come up 
go down and come up and the most important thing which i think it's not visible in this video now you will be able to see it better see the see the knee when i'm going down the knee is not going like this okay the knee is not going ahead of my toe the main thing is knee has to be beside the toe okay behind the toe sorry behind the toe okay this is my toe and this is my knee this is this behind or or i think this side will be good okay see don't do this exercise like this okay like this okay perfect so this was the just give me a moment okay so this was one two three four fourth exercise now the first one is a very simple one and we have a simple name for this step it's a deadlift but without any weight okay and i do this way stand tall again chest high shoulders at the back this area engage it should be tight deliberately deliberately tighten these muscles okay now go down hip the movement has to start from the hips okay they have to go they have to go behind the box so why i'm using this word behind they have to go back okay in backward direction just like you do deadlift the back has to be straight okay no sinking no this no this straight go down oh as much as possible i was looking at that but i was <laughs> losing my balance okay go down as much as possible you should feel the tension in your hamstrings okay in your quads in your hamstrings not in the lower back okay not in the lower back and the movement again has to initiate from the hips see my posture okay i have to see like this otherwise i am compensating my own posture okay so the next one is a very very basic one crunch lie down on the ground okay just like this i think i'll have to keep this thing on the floor okay so just lie down on the floor legs relax in this at this angle okay and slowly come up and slowly go down while you are coming up and going down this area has to be engaged the upper the upper abdominal area okay this has to be engaged all the time so you have to come up go down slowly and slowly okay slowly slow is the magic okay so just you can put your hands like this also this also whatever makes you comfortable okay slowly come up slowly go down okay and the last one is the abdominal kicks this is my favorite one okay again in that same supine position lie down on the ground you can put your head down on the floor or maybe a little up and then you have to you know ride a bicycle with your legs okay i'll do it this way so that it's more clear okay or you can do it like this as well okay or maybe you just you are just pushing your legs you should feel the heat okay heat in this area the lower abdominal area, area okay this is a great great workout for your belly region so those were 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay perfect so guys those were seven exercises if you will do this definitely you are going to feel much better with your posture with your pain and all your pain will definitely go away and please don't do these exercises if you are having any medical condition like any arthritis joint pain or those things if you have a doctor's clearance okay that you are good to go with the exercises you can do this otherwise uh, uh, this video is just for an all people not for the people who are into some medical condition okay I hope you like this video and please do let me know how it was so that I get a feedback and I can make a better videos. Thank you so much for watching and if this was a helpful one please do like my video. Thank you so much for watching.